Hey guys, how you doing? This is Doug Kenny speaking for another video of my Making Light of Autism podcast. Hope anyone can join me today as I enjoy my life still. Listening to Ride of the Valkyries, my favorite music. Hey, Cesian. Hope things are going very well for you. Hey, Donovan. Hope things are going well for you, Donovan. Sometimes listening to the music of the world will help you enjoy life as a guy with autism. Like this. Hey, Samuel, and hey, Zach. Any of y'all like Ride of the Valkyries? Let me see. It's a Viking song, kinda, from old Viking times. Alright, I mean, I'm gonna look up and see if there's any good videos to watch during this live video. Let me see. Because watching videos helps me enjoy life as a guy with autism as well. Hey, Darlene. Hope things are going well for you. Wonder what there is. Let's see. Nine. Here's when Brad Keselowski won Talladega in 2009 and when he wrecked Carl Edwards coming to the checkers. On the point, Ryan Newman trying to score the first win for what is Stuart Haas racing. Dale Jr. trying to win four in a row for Rick Hendrick with four different drivers. Kurt Busch trying to get back to victory lane. Not and sure what Tony Stewart yeah, just did. The, the Tony, car, Mike. Tony's not going. Something's wrong with his car. Yeah. He's uh, off the pace. Not getting up to speed at all. No. And you see what Dale Jr. was talking about. He's laying the wood to, he's laying a bumper to that 39 car, trying to get him away from the rest of the pack. But I'll tell you what, that 31 and that 6, and maybe that 20 car, I think they may have a little something for that front two of three. No real yeah. big run yet. No real big run. You're clear. A fender underneath of him and shove him right up out of the way if he's not careful. I don't need to know about the runs. I need to know if they got runs. And four, he's trying to get back there to the 31. The 31 does. Junior wants his spotter to be a commentator and tell him everything that's happening behind him. And then he'll decide where to go and when. He's got two Junior left go. to decide. I tell you, it's working like he wanted it to, though. Because here they come. Look at the 99 and Brad Kozlowski. Brad Kozlowski. We, hey, Mary again, Red Sox, hope drive. things are going they well for y'all. get off turn two. That's 10 mile an hour faster than the cars in front of them. They'll be coming to the white flag this time. It's going to get interesting because Junior cannot sit There's there and run second. Brat Keselowski, as I Kennedy call him. <laughs> He's a brat, you know. You. Here's and when he went on to win Dega in 2009. What's interesting, that's a Hendrick car running second, that's a Hendrick related car leading the race, and that's a Hendrick related car pushing Carl Edwards' white flag this time. Yeah, Carl Edwards from the back all day to the lead with one to go. Three Chevys and one Ford, and it doesn't matter now, your friends are where you find them. And oh, hanging out back, Carl Edwards. Now, I'll tell you, I don't know if they can catch him. What we've seen today, two cars get that big a lit run on them. I don't know that the 39 and the 88 can catch them. They're in the draft of Edwards and Keslowski. Hey, Richard. Hope things are going well for you. Yeah. Carl Edwards restarted eighth. That nine, if that 09 can stay hooked to the back of that 99, it's going to be hard to get him. It's going to be close right here at the line. Can Keslowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until there he wins until the last second and picks it's up the other guy. side. Is Edwards going to oh, win? No. No. turns him. No. No. Oh, and that no. was car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad Keselowski won this race.
unbelievable. Carl Edwards' car destroyed, and Junior's protege, Keselowski, the winner, and Carl Edwards is moving around and ready to climb out. Larry, look at that. The, the, the carburetor has gone He's off He's completely the gone. Carl did the, what he wanted to do. He stayed at the back all day long. He played it smart. Had this race possibly won. Not now. Yeah. That's Kozlowski for y'all. Freaking idiot on occasion, but overall a nice guy. But, you know. Hey, Yazinia Rojas. Hope things are going well for you. Glad you could join me today. Oh, Carl Edwards ran across the start finish line. <laughs> Ricky Bobby, yep. Wonder if there's any other good videos on YouTube. Let's see. Wonder if there's any other good videos to watch. Maybe Sonoma in 2006. That'd be a nice one. Let's see. Sonoma when uh, Jeff Gordon won. I believe that was his last Sonoma victory. Let's see. There's the 18 car of J.J. Yaley. Let me see Kyle it. Petty's on board. Let me see. Now it's a little bit of damage, but he's able to squeeze the teammates when Terry Labonte drove for Hendrick Motorsports. He's hey, got a Mary. Lot of Hope things are going well for you. Glad you could before. join me today. So, you know, I think it's a very unique opportunity here for Terry. If they've got enough fuel, he should be able to maybe go up there and put All some right, pressure on Jack Gordon. And I I'm going exactly to move doesn't this want. out of the way for a sec so I can get to the finish. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Four laps to go. Alright. I love motor racing. It's my number one passion in life. Three laps to go. Jeff Gordon is leading the race. Larry, remember not too long ago we were talking about how slow that 96 car was? He was a second slower than all these guys he's racing with. And look at him now. And he is, he is under fire. Casey Kane has pitted, may have had a flat tire. A lap and a half to go. And I, and I love what Newman's doing. Newman is respecting Terry Labonte. He's not forcing himself up underneath of him taking a chance on spinning him out. He's really showing him a lot of respect. But Ryan Newman does not need a problem here either. He's another one of those cars that he would love to have a third place finish here because he keeps each and more the top 10 in points. Now he's 17th right now. Newman is. Next up comes standings. Jeff Burton has climbed to 7th place. Looking all over Carl Edwards to 6th. It's going to be a challenge right here for Terry because we saw the 12 get a run on the outside. 
Here comes the 12 again on the outside. And gosh, I think he's going to drive right by. Him. Behind and push him. Behind him. Inside. Inside a Biffle. Not a whole lot Terry can do right there. No, he just got to give it up. Fire. White flag this time. We know we will not go into overtime because we're on our last lap. And Biffle is up to four. Terry's got to hang on because if one ever, he ever opens the door, there's a chain up behind Looks him. like Terry Obani had his best finish of 2006 in the 96 car, car, which was pretty good. Good finish for the Hall of Fame racing so team. Easy. That was smooth, cool. Baby. Smooth operator. All he's got to do is just hit his mark for about another Hey, Tommy. Hope well, things are going very well for you. Glad you could join me today. Final time. The battle's back there from third to about eighth or ninth. That's where it's going to get exciting. That Newman got around a Terry. I just wonder, Greg Biffle saw where Terry Labonte was pretty weak getting down into turn 11. He saw it with Ryan Newman, but Terry actually stretches it out just a little bit down through the S. I think Terry could really stretch it out if he just knew he had enough fuel, but right now he's just trying to get back around here, make turn 11, and he's going to come home with a pretty good finish here. Scott Pruitt in the tires on the back part of the course, and Newman dropped to the inside to protect the inside of 11 against Kurt Busch. Course win extending the all time record for Jeff Gordon of the DuPont Chevrolet. It is the fifth win here for car owner Rick Hendrick. King of the road, right there, boys. Nice job, Lee. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fine third place finish for Hall of Fame racing and Terry Labonte. And nice job, Terry Labonte, but still, Philippe, uh, willing to roll the dice and 50 laps on and, and go for that pit strategy. That was pretty cool. Tony Reigns, the regular Rains. driver up there with Philippe. He'll be back in the car next week at Daytona. And Ryan Newman said he had a good car and was looking forward to this race. He'll enjoy a second place finish. Pruitt yeah. got out of the tire barrier and came around to complete the final lap for third place. Jeff Gordon, who fell out of the top ten in points after Michigan, he's going to catapult back up into him. He's going to be eighth in points leaving here. It's Denny Hamlin who will fall out of the top ten. So, yeah, a nice engagement present for Jeff Gordon today. i got to believe he'll be a pretty happy young man today. He's a happy young lady. There's his future wife. I'm sure she's feeling a lot of little Oh, looks like Jeff. Boris said finish in that race. Family, so that's that's cool. All right, that was a pretty cool finish. And while we're doing live, I think I'll show off my book for anyone who's interested. I... From Green Flags to Blue Flags, the story of my life, and it's about my uh, battle with Asperger's disorder, and maybe I can read you a little bit of it to get some ideas of how interesting it is. The Acknowledgements, which read, Dear Reader, if you are holding this book first, I must tell you that you should read this entire novel. I'm the author of this book. Doug, Douglas and Kenny, I am an autistic young author who has trouble understanding others. I, I wrote this book to help others and inspire autistic people. With a nice family and friend support system, I got my hopes up to 10 times in faith that good things can come true. Life is no one-man deal. When I was a young lad learning about our life systems, I felt like I was the only one who could solve my problems. I was bullied in school and it was unbearable. My misinterpretation of how my parents went about the whole thing led to me taking matters in my own hands instead. I got bad consequences off of it. I want you to know that the moral of my story is there is always hope to overcome evil. And that's what I have to say to people who are autistic like me. There is always hope to changing your life and turning it around after you slip into rock bottom. And y'all should check out my book, which is sold through Amazon.com and from green flags to blue flags. And hope y'all are interested in reading it. And hey, Tracy Hammond, hope things are going well for y'all. And yeah, I'm proud to be a published writer and I'm glad to be uh, author that means a lot to me to accomplish that stuff and all right I think I'm going to conclude this live video now because
I've done what I needed to for today, and hope things are going well for you, Earl, and I'll see y'all next time on the Making Light of Autism podcast.